Well, call it a high-tech take on license plates. A new program is being tested here in Maryland, and it could make metal plates a thing of the past. WJZ is live right now. Kelsey Kushner with more on the pilot program. Kelsey. Well, Rick, it's a two-year program that's being tested. Now, these plates have technology that allows registration tags to be updated automatically. It also allows officials to send security alerts to drivers on the road. Metal license plates, rusted screws, and registration stickers could soon be a thing of the past. Imagine updating your vehicle registration and having your plate, which sits outside of your house, being updated right away. That would be a great convenience for customers. The Maryland Department of Transportation Motor Vehicle Administration is testing out a two year program swapping out metal license plates for digital ones. It seems like a good idea. MDOT MBA officials say they're working with Reviver, a digital license plate manufacturer, to test out the new plates. The digital plates would be similar in size to the metal ones, but have an electronic display with a battery life of five. Five years. The technology lets drivers automatically update their registration and cracks down on potential car thefts. If your vehicle happened to be stolen, we could display it right on the digital tag, hopefully helping law enforcement be able to apprehend the vehicle more quickly. I like the idea, especially with so many um, car thefts going around now. It would really be helpful. Um, and maybe people will kind of think twice about stealing the car. The technology would also allow officials to push out amber alerts. Right now, the plates are being tested on 20 MVA and two MDOT vehicles. Some drivers have mixed feelings about the high tech tags. Sounds good to me, unless somebody tries to hack it and they start using it for other things. And Maryland is the fourth state to test out this technology with no cost to the state. Now, MDOT officials, they say they still need to work out a few potential problems, like how they would be able to actually send out security alerts without distracting drivers on the road. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore City, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.